Hello and welcome back to SMT3. So we are back in the past. If we were to go through this door over there, we would be judged by a giant light in the sky, which would then put us on the path that we just finished. However, there is a way to change it. If we go through this door and then go to the Labyrinth of Amala and finish that, what it'll allow us to do is it will um, allow us to go down the true demon ending. I don't know what that is, but it seems cool to try out, so that's what we're going to do. But first of all, before we get into that, what's our party, just so that I have a rough idea? Ah, so it's Garuda, Black Rider, and Atropos. Okay, weirdly, Atropos was in our final party as well. So this is what we currently have going on. Uh, so we've got the Null Dark and uh, Null Light combo going, which is pretty nice. Uh, Garuda is currently finished, Black Rider is currently finished, and Atropos actually has quite a lot to do. So I guess we must have just got Atropos, because I think that once we get a single level in Atropos, we get a ton of uh, these abilities unlocking, if not all of them. So it's interesting to see where we were at this point in the game. Right, let's go through the door, and then we're going to go down to the Labyrinth of Amala. Let's see, there we go. Now I'm hoping I got the right save, because if I didn't get the right save then actually we're already locked into a path and this is all very bad and I'll need to do it off camera, but we're going to assume that that isn't the case for just now. Um, I did go out and check with this save that I got the uh, god cutscene triggering. I'm hoping there wasn't another trigger before then that locks us into our path, but you know, we'll see. Anyway, uh, I'm also going to put the save in here because if I put the save in here we don't have to do the travel again if we happen to die. Um, which one am I going to override? We probably don't need any of these ones anymore because we've now finished the game. Although I would like to keep the one right before the boss. So let me just see which one. I don't want to override that one. Okay, that's fine. The rest of them can be overridden uh, whenever. Cool. Right, save completed. And... It is time to go. Right, so, Labyrinth of Amala. If you don't remember where we left it off, we killed Beelzebub, and then it opened the way to the... F okay, I thought that was actually an actual thing, that's just saying, that's just uh, this thing activating. Um, we killed Beelzebub, and then we gained access to the fifth dungeon, which is the point that we stopped. Now, I believe that completing this dungeon also unlocks access to a bunch of new demons, which are some higher level, some lower level. So it'll be interesting to see, although it might not be the actual completion. I believe there are, um, there are NPCs who you need to speak to in certain Kalpas who will then unlock the demons. I will look them up when we get to that point. Anyway, we're going to jump in. There might be one in the fourth Kalpa, but yeah, we'll probably just look up their locations if we don't happen to find them. Right, so we need to do, do this thing again. Oh, I forgot that they pop in from behind you. Oh, so you can't see the one in front of you. Oh, yes, I'd forgotten that one. That's a good trick. I guess you uh, well done. Uh, okay, I've become much worse at this, which is actually surprising to me, because I thought I was terrible. I mean, I probably am terrible, but like, I thought I was even worse than I am. Even better than I am. Anyway. I didn't realize I could get worse. <laughs> and uh, I've been proven wrong. All right. All right, didn't even manage to punch that one. Cool. So we obtained some Maka and we now need to fully heal our party. Yup. Good start, good start. Uh, who has the heals? I've forgotten, so Dominion has full heal. Uh, is that it? That might be it for our main healers, although Eros has, a, has Dia, which is probably not good enough. How much does uh, Eros heal? Okay, so the minions are healer. Cool. Right. And then we head through here into unknown content. Down this way. A cutscene immediately? Our goals are the same, just as I thought. That's Dante. Demon or not, you've got one hell of a pair. Honestly. I never thought you'd make it this far. But shit's gonna get even worse from now on. We're talking knee deep here, and we're gonna be wading in it from here to kingdom come. 
Thought maybe you could use an extra hand. Like a devil hunter, for instance. But seriously, a demon slayer hired by a demon. It's the joke of the century, don't you think? So, how about it? You're hired. All right then, let's talk business. I usually charge a ridiculous amount of money. But in this case, I'll make an exception. Let's flip a coin. Heads or tails? If you win, you owe me a dollar. Oh, uh, yeah, it's maca here, isn't it? Give me one maca then. <laughs> I like that they reference that maca is just kind of a made up thing. Uh, okay, that's fair. But if you fair. lose, you'll have to give me half of what you've got. Okay. Call it. Heads or tails? Uh, tails. What's that? You lose. Didn't think you'd fall for a cheap trick like that. Oh. But a deal's a deal. Pay up. You gave half of your money to Dante. Thank you very much. Starting today, I work for you. So, what's your name? I'm gonna state my name. You introduced yourself to Dante. Hmm. I see. Not a bad name. Okay. How about we go pay a visit to the ruler of hell? Maybe take some demon heads as souvenirs. The final battle between the army of God and the devil's legions. This ought to be interesting. So, this was one of the demons that I was thinking we might get. Well, technically not a demon, but he is one of the ones I saw on the list, Dante. So, um, we now have him. He's level 80 and he's obviously joining our party, but what's up with him? So, nullifies light, dark, ailments, strong against physical and magic. In fact, now that I realize it, we probably could have had him on the last playthrough, given uh, where we were. We could have just walked down here, picked him up and left. But anyway, we have Dante. He has a bunch of abilities. Uh, we did see some of these when he fought us, but let's have a look at them. So E and I, multiple physical damage to one foe. And it cost MP. That's physical damage off of MP. Now, does that mean it can crit? Because if it's something that can crit off of MP, that becomes a very useful ability. Rebellion. High physical damage to one foe, high critical rate. Now this one does use HP, so that's interesting. So I'm wondering whether that's implying that this one wouldn't crit. Hmm. Anyway, interesting. High electrical damage to all foes. Fair enough, I mean that's not a bad one. High force damage to all foes. Again, not particularly bad. Uh, negates NDA effects on the party. Um... Nothing, I think, actually applies those to the party. You know what? No. Uh, I was going to say nothing applies it to, to us in the final dungeon. But Bisha Monten applies that to us. So this would be a useful ability to keep for that situation. Yeah, because he lowers all of your stats. So that would be a very interesting thing to have then. Provoke. Greatly lower defense slash raise attack of all foes. User, slight MP recovery. Interesting. I'm not sure that I would want to use that unless I was like, I'm going to kill you this turn. But okay. Um, never yield. Survive a fatal blow with one HP remaining once per battle. So that's endure. Persuades an indecisive demon. Intimidate. Okay. Interesting. Um, so he's, he's got some abilities going on. Uh, who are we going to replace? That's the question. Who are we going to replace? Now... Hmm... Right now, he doesn't necessarily fit into the party too well. I mean, he does kind of fulfill a Tropos's role of having um, the electrical and force damage. However, it doesn't fulfill a Tropos's role of having Tetracarn and uh, Makarakarn, but... We don't necessarily need them for just now. We could not take them. We could also potentially take out Black Rider, because we know he's not going to scale up. Um, 
So it could be a good moment to take him out of the party. And then that means that we could replace a Tropos fairly easily if we wanted to. So we'll replace a Tropos with, say, um... But basically all we need is something that has Tetra Karn and Makara Karn. And then actually a Tropos is pretty much replaced. It, um, and I suppose Raku uh, Kaja as well. So, yeah, we could replace a Tropos there. Garuda, I think, is needed because it's our buffer currently. Yeah, it's our buffer currently. Let's take out Black Rider for just now. Yeah. Oh, what's your... Um, what is your um, agility? So it's 25. Okay. Where does that fit into the party? 15, 29. So you're actually after a Tropos. Okay. That's fine. A Tropos. Let's go. I also just realized, did I ever get to the thing where I had to show off the demon that had been with us the longest? I don't know if I ever actually did that. Hmm. Anyway, that's fine. Right, so we've done this here. Uh, I think we're good to go. Carrying on down this way. If, it's gonna, if there's just like a boss fight immediately after, that'll be so funny to me. I'm assuming it's a whole labyrinth, but we'll see. Okay, it's a whole thing. That's fine. Who are you? You better play you better pay close attention or you'll get lost. Even if you think you've found a dead end, make absolutely sure before you try another direction. Well that's my advice. Choose to follow it if you wish. Okay, so there might be some of the fake walls. Interesting. How about you? Ooh, what a fine piece of eye candy. It's not every day you see a young man come down here. Why, just talking with you is setting my heart aflutter. Ah, <sighs> I bet I'm nothing but an old hag to you, aren't I? Not true. Ah, oh, you made my day. Here's a token of my appreciation. Demon healed you. Wait, can we do that every time? Now, don't let anything happen to that cute little face. Oh, I see. So, we get it's a one-time heal. Hello. You're almost to the very bottom of the labyrinth. Our master is waiting there. Don't give up now. Okay, and then you? So, you have made it to the last Kalpa. This is where the women loyal to our master gather. You have done well in meeting his expectations. But if you underestimate us, you will not live to regret it. Okay, so we got two paths out of here. Just a left and a right path, and a way up as well in the middle. Okay, well... Let's go this way. It did say make sure. Okay, so that is a dead end. Fair enough. Oh, wait a second. Let's head back here. Ah, yeah, look at that. The wall is lit up a little bit more. And you can walk through it. Okay, so we've got this way. See, that one's a fake wall. Okay, so where does this take us? That's a fake wall. Let's go through here. Then through here. There's an item. What did we get? Obtain the chakra drop times one. Oh, yeah. Also, how much money do I have? Oh, wow. It actually took quite a lot from us. 96,000. Okay. Um, I do still have the no demons attack us thing on. Maybe I shouldn't have that on, but at the same time, it's quite nice to be able to explore. Oh! Hello. Uh, too strong against magic. Don't know about the middle one, but I get the feeling it has retaliate. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I'm missing all the things I would usually use here because I don't have, like, you know, my demon eyes or anything. Uh, I guess we'll just attack. Ooh. So I could probably kill Queen Map here. Um, yeah, let's try that. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> uh, it didn't do as much as I was thinking it would do, but that's okay. Then you attack here. Okay, not great. Okay, oh. 
Maybe we'll do a little heal at the start of this one. I need to figure out what the middle one's weak to. I think that'll be important for us. So let's just use a uh, spy glass on it. Weak to ice. We don't currently have ice. Okay, that's fine. Hit him. And then hit him. Nice. So now it's just the middle one. Perfect dodge. Um, do you have vitality? I'm just going to keep attacking until I can find out. Doesn't look like that one actually has retaliate, so we might be able to just attack it. Okay, cool. Right, where's my dis poisons that I never use? Perfect. Then a little bit of healing from Dominion. I was actually, I was a little bit worried that our party was filled up here, and then I remembered that uh, you can't recruit anyone in this area, so as long as there's nobody else that will just join our party, we should be fine. If there is, I suppose we could just drop, uh, you know what, let's just do that in, uh, I'm assuming there's going to be nobody else, but let's just do that um, right away. Let's just drop, like, arrows. Sure. Doesn't cost us too much to get it back. Right. Which way from here? So I'm assuming this takes us back to the start. Yes, and it's a one way. Okay, that's fine. Um, I just wanted to check that we got the mapping on it. Right, through here. So we are negating a lot of fights, which is still quite good. Let's go right from this direction and see where it takes us. I get the feeling I'm going to want to do mapping trips, like go in here, map out as much as I can, then head back up to the uh, surface. All right. This way, that is a dead end. We knew it because there was no lit up walls. And this way, there's a lit up wall there. Leads us to, that's a way out. That's a way out. We already know where that goes. Through here. And I'm assuming, yeah, there's gonna be this which takes us back to the center. Okay. Ooh. Okay, we'll leave that a second. Oh, I thought that one was a fake wall looking at it there. Huh. Guess not. We're at the worst point to open that chest, so we probably won't. Uh, all of you are strong against magic, I think? Yeah, let's double check you guys. I think it's strong against magic, and that's it for you. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Um, how about high physical damage with a high crit chance? Which didn't didn't crit. But that's okay. Double block. That's just annoying. Alright, attack. That doesn't even use that much HP. Yeah, we should just do that every time. And then attack. Not quite enough. Okay. Okay, we're learning, we're learning. Right, a tropos. Uh, a little heal, thank you. What about this way? Nothing there, huh? Yep, knew that was gonna happen, so now we can go in here and reset us. Okay, so we know there's a chest at the top there. Don't want to just run around till we get the chest? Sure, I mean, why not? I usually don't, but in this situation, I'm feeling like I want to. So let's just do it. Run round and round the room. Shouldn't take too long, as long as, long as we don't get too many fights. Nice timing. Right, attack. Uh, Zeros beat. Should crit, in theory, and it did crit. Nice. Uh, rebellion. No crit. Okay. Heal. Pass, and then zero speed for the triple kill. Ooh, not a triple kill. Okay, that's fine. Hey, perfect. It put two of us to sleep, which then gave us uh, free healing and free MP recover. Okay, so that's not quite an instant kill, which is good to know. 
Luck increase there. Doesn't matter. Um, so we shouldn't push for the second zero speed unless we get double crits. Good to know. If we get double crits, we can do it. It's just knowing where our um, like where break points are for damage right now. Because it's been a while since we played as this character. Oh, I mean, as in we played the character at this level. Because of, uh, we played a long time as the uh, super-powered one. There we go. You obtained the Balm of Rising. Eh, okay. Probably wasn't worth the time we put into it, but that's okay. Um, the reason I'm saying that is because we tend not to even bother with it. We would just use uh, Nui uh, to do our reses. If not, we have three Balm of Risings already, I think. Do we? How many do we have? Uh, we actually have six Bam. We had five Bam of Risings already. Okay. Nothing in there. So this must be the way forward. Then what? One in the middle definitely retaliates. One in the left. Oh, sorry. One in the right is weak to electricity. Uh, I'm gonna do this. Oh, it's weak to electricity. <laughs> That's my bad, really, for having said it and then realized what that meant. Hey, it hit the weakness, which then allows us to crit off of it. Nice. Mostly just annoying. Uh, you have any... Yeah, wind cover. Wind for single target stuff, hit it. So it definitely has a bench. We got it in the end. Okay. That's fine. Do a little heal here. And off we go. This way? So this, I think, leads us back into an area we could have already have access. Oh, that leads us down, actually. Okay. Uh, that's not where I thought that was leading, but that's okay. Through here? All right, so that leads us back there. There was another route in the center here that we need to take. Uh, well, center left, I guess I should say. We also didn't go uh, down the bottom path either. So if I go straight forward here, there was another route, wasn't there? Yeah. Wait. Yeah, I think that's right. Did I double back round to myself at some point? Maybe. Keep following it. That's a dead end. Okay. Demons grow restless. We can uh, reapply that one. So that takes us back to where we were before. That takes us into the path that we were just on. So this must take us back into... Yeah, this room. That makes sense. So where does this take us? To another one of these chests. Alright, well. Time for us to collect it. There's another Bam of Rising. I'm going to be a little bit, up, you know, disappointed. But that's okay. Strong against magic is the middle one, I think. Don't know the left one. I think it's weak to ice. Um, one on the right, I also do not know, but I think it's strong against magic. Okay, never mind. Might nullify magic. Uh, Bolt Storm? It's actually weak to electricity, even better. Uh, let's do this. Just because that lets us hit all three. Hit it. Nice crit. Uh, kill it? Cool. Mostly just annoying. Again, mostly just annoying. Thinking about this one here. Uh, let's go for a round trip. Ah, oh, I was hoping that would kill the one in the middle. 
I forgot to use fog breath. Nice, we got the one in the middle. Now we should just be able to kill Callie. Wonderful. Okay. Fog breath is very annoying. But that's alright. Oh yeah, we're still doing the running around the room. Took me a second to remember what we were actually doing here. Okay. I think I'm fine to attack all three of these guys. So let's go for attack just to check. I think we are fine. Very nice. We managed to take one out for the next turn as well. Uh, rebellion. No crit, but we did kill. Um, I'm going to do a heal here just to make sure we're all okay. And then attack. There's no point attacking the middle one because they're already out. Yeah. Perfect. We actually missed two of their turns. Really? Cool. It's almost a level up for a Tropos, which will be great because we'll get a bunch of new abilities on a Tropos. Heal, heal. And let's continue running round and round in circles. Alright, we're at half. Five out of eight. Six out of eight. And seven out of eight. Now we'll get much closer. And eight out of eight. Wonderful. Magic mirror. Eh, okay, whatever. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, so we now know our way down. Oh, there is another path. Yeah, there's a path up and to the right. Okay. Let's take that last path and then we'll go and save our progress. That was kind of my plan, was if we can clear the whole floor, that'd be good. Uh, I was just checking whether she would heal us again. It's a one-time heal. Okay. Good to know if we see any more of uh, her demon kind. Alright. Attack. Zero speed. No crits. So we know that we are not going to be able to kill them all for the zero speed. That one was a double attack, so slightly different. Heal. Cool. That's absolutely fine. Right. Attack. 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 And attack. And that's the level up for a troll boss. Wonderful. So we get a magic increase and then we get about a million abilities. So what's interesting about this Atropos is that we no longer need electricity. Because electricity, we only needed because we um, um, because we didn't have it. Now we have permanent electricity on, um, on Dante. Because Dante isn't leaving our party. So actually, yeah, we don't need a leg boost. Yeah. We also do not need force boost, because we have permanent force on Dante. Ice boost now actually comes up in priority. So let's get rid of uh, Zeodyne, because right down two of our party has it. Okay. Mana surge. That increased mana? Yeah, so get rid of Zandine. And Medjidola. Medjidola. Uh, which one am I getting rid of for Medjidola? That's the question. Medjidola, is, I think, is worth ha Medjidola is worth having. So the question is, which one of these is the worst? The heal? Was that? Did I get rid of Mana Surge previously? I might have got rid of Mana Surge previously. Hmm, I think the heal is really useful. I think I'm gonna get rid of Mana Surge. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's also really good, but I think we can give it up. Okay, that's fine. Sure, you can talk to me. And, Jade, 
Okay, cool. Right. So now we have a leveled up uh, Atropos with all of the new abilities. And now Dante has a proper purpose in our party, which isn't overlapping. Awesome. Do you want to go right from here? Ooh, okay, it leads to somewhere else all ent entirely here. An item? A beat. Eh. Okay, I mean, it's fine. It didn't really cost us very much to walk back. In fact, it gave us the level, so that's fine. Let's head... Oh, I can't head that way. How do I get back? Oh, up and to the right. Let's head all the way back up to the top. Heal. Uh, save. Back. Ooh, I have not seen the ones on the outside before. Or at least I've not seen them often enough to even remotely know what they're weak to. Ice. Okay, we do have ice on the last one, actually. I did forget we had ice on the Tropos before as well. It was Drain Fire, wasn't it? I've forgotten entirely. It shoots in. It's a little bit. Right. Both for dying. Nice damage. Okay. we one of those. Cool. Nice dodge. Alright, attack. Spied glass again, because I've forgotten. It was Repel Light. That was one I was missing. So yeah, it was Green Fire. Okay. Attack. Oh, something I wanted to try there, actually. I wanted to try using the guns to see if they counted as a magic ability. Uh, despite them doing physical damage. If that made sense. Just because I wanted... Because they use MP, so they must be magical, in theory. That was kind of my logic. So, yeah. That's something to try out. Anyway. Up to the top. This one actually has quite an easy exit, currently. Um, we'll see how bad it gets on the future levels, whether it's, a, whether it's harder to get out or not. But at least you don't have to walk through, like, you know, a curse room to get out. In fact, it even becomes safe at this point, which is... Oh, then it becomes unsafe in the next room. That's a weird one. Yeah, to have one safe room. Oh, hello. Oh, and from behind. Wonderful. Are you? <laughs> yeah, it's quite a safe way to leave the dungeon, you know. It seems very safe to me. Um, do I have a... I have a smoke ball. Okay. I'll just be leaving now. Holy moly. <laughs> what is up with that? Where, where's our dispoison? Attack from behind, instant killed, and... Okay, right, back to the entrance. Okay. So. Got that, that trick one there. Um, through here. Okay, up. Got another one. Hey, you got some more. This one's really difficult to get. You don't tend, you don't actually, you're not really able to move that well in uh, like, you know, a circular direction. Like you tend to move in like, left and right. Okay. You obtain 289 uh, Maka. That's not great. Is this the right place? Yes, yeah, the right place. Okay, little hobble out of here, and out the door. Do a little Amala link over to uh, Shibuya. Yeah, then we can go heal. Now there is something else that I've been meaning to do with this uh, series, and I'm going to do it soon. Uh, I want to do a complete compendium uh, read-through of all of the characters. The reason why I bring that up now is because there is actually one that I'm going to read ahead of time. Because I'm interested. Uh, we're going to go and see what, it has to, what the guy has to say about Dante. 
So over here. And let's go and <laughs> heal. <laughs> Feeling much better. Right, can I can now resummon uh, Atropos. Let's go see what this guy has to say about Dante. Welcome to the Cathedral oh. of Sh Uh, okay. So we are able to do that. I think it's Quetzalcoatl's the one that we don't need to. Are you sure? Gonna, uh, yes. I'm just going to hmm. register the ones oh. that are directly... Uh, ones are you level, sure? And the rest oh. I can leave. Are you sure? Hmm. Oh? You as well? Are you sure? Hmm. Oh? oh. Are you sure? Hmm. Oh. oh. There we are. Oh. Right. Um, so, by level... Dante. Profile. A devil hunter who wandered into the Vortex world. He wields his two guns, ebony and ivory, along with his trusty sword, Rebellion. It is said that he has the blood of the legendary demon warrior, Sparda, in him. There you go. It's Dante. Oh, you can never all right. uh, resummon him by loose, but you probably can't use him for. F Wait a sec. Can you use him for fusions? Welcome to the Cathedral of Shadows, where demons gather. All right. Yeah, I didn't think you could use him for fusions. That doesn't really make a lot of sense, given he's, you know, not the same type of demon. Um, I mean, he's part demon, but not like the same. Anyway. He has the blood of a demon, but is not necessarily a demon in of himself, completely. Anyway. This mixing two different uh, series uh, lore together probably doesn't work too well, I would imagine. But that's alright. Jump. Back into here. And we can go to the second floor and see what's happening. Did I save? No. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna have to go back up, aren't we? Because the whole reason I came up there was to heal and save. Okay. Maybe I just go for the I'm not gonna take damage approach. Let's stay in the center ish. How much money did I make? I must have made some there. 436 maca. Not too bad. Back up. I do love the little jump. It, it, it's very good. Got it. Okay. I think I've hit the same ones every time there. It's good. Almost. And got it. Okay. 471 Matka. Back over here. Let's go save. Right. Also, uh, while I'm at it, I should probably heal before we save. Hey, I'm not even at zero health right now. I'll take that. That's almost a win. Alright, save into the same slot. Nice. Cool. Exit. And we're back in here as if nothing had ever happened. Right. Jump in. So now we just fall all the way back down again. Got it. Oh, item, item. Chase it. I'm sure we can catch it. That's the way it works, right? Okay. Right. I was getting better at this section, but 
Not that much better. Oh, one of them has larger hitboxes. Yeah, then I kept getting hit. That's fine. I thought our punch was pretty well timed there. Guess not. We we got 200 maca on the last one. We got 550 maca. Definitely not the most efficient way of farming maca that we've ever found, but hey, there you have it. Right. And here we go. So straight down this way. And through here. And then down here. And then we want to go left, I think, from this exit. Yeah. Oh, do you heal me again? Okay. No. See, so don't reset every time I come in. Thought it was worth a try, just to see what happens. This way, through here. Then left. Then, you know what? I'm going to do a little run up here just to nullify the encounter. We either get it or we don't get it, but what this means is we get this encounter instead of the first encounter of the next four, which is pretty nice. Uh, zero speed. Nice crit, and we uh, incapacitated one, which is good. Okay, I'm fairly certain if you attack here, it's again. Yep. Cool. We knew that um, that one was out. Cool. Worked fairly well. Right, let's do a heal here. And down the ladder. Okay, so all of these are lit up, which is interesting. It doesn't necessarily mean that you can walk through all of these. I shall now test your heart. If you are a true demon, you may see what lies beyond this door. Uh... Okay. So is that testing our vitality stat? I guess? Or is that testing our choices made throughout? Okay. I'll just keep going around, I guess. There's definitely something in the center here that I'm avoiding. Demons grow restless at your presence. Uh, we will go invisible again. Uh, uh, mm, the two on the outside definitely have revenge damage. That's all I remember. Okay, so Spyglass, Abaddon. Yeah, and you have Hades Blast as well. I think I'm going to use Tetracorn. I think I'm going to use Tetracorn. Let's go for this to start with. Alright. Cool. Um, another one of those. Will I test whether we can attack the middle thing with anything? No. Okay. So, we can't use physical, but they will retaliate, I'm fairly certain, if we use physical. What about this? Okay. Should have used Tetra Charm. My bad. We're dead. Okay, if we come across that fight, we just have to use Tetracorn right now. Yeah, I don't know how we dealt with it otherwise, but I'm fairly certain I remember them having revenge damage. I, I, you know what? I could have checked if I'd actually read the abilities to check whether they had avenge or revenge. Okay. Well, that's fine. Right. Through here. Well, let's do another drop. See, this is why I wanted to go back and save. So that all of our progress was banked, because I kind of had a feeling that I might just die. Those enemies are also a lot higher level, in my defense, compared to what we've been facing. Because those are enemies that you face in the final dungeon. 
while the other ones are not, necessarily. Alright, so this is a terrible run. Okay, at least we got something. Okay, we made some stuff there. And... Get it. Okay, made some money. 511 Maka. We did get hit quite a lot, but we made money. Right. You know what, Atropos, you heal us. Because we don't tend to use your MP that much. Through here. And through here. And then down the next corridor. So descending of the ladder. Right. Through here. Left. Followed by um, just every left turn that we can take. You'd think they did that deliberately. You know how left is meant to be like based off of sinister. So it's, it's like, you know, seen to be a sign of the devil. Then they made it so that you had to turn left continuously so that you would get to where you want to go. Just a thought. I'm just saying the true demon door does ask, does, you know, get us to go uh, left into it. It's not an impossible theory for that to be true. Uh, uh, okay. Weak to ice, I think, is the third one. The rest are immune to physical magic magic is what I was gonna say yeah immune to magic except okay so that one absorbs we're gonna die cool heal wonderful okay Let's start with a heal. Uh, attack. Um, guess it's time to find out. It does immunity to magic give you immunity to guns? No. Okay. Good to know. I'm fairly certain you'll be weak to this. You are not weak to that. Okay. Well, at least we can remove that effect. We're dead. Okay. I see, I, I see where we're at here. The, the level of competition is pretty high down in the bottom area. That is actually a vicious fight where you can't use AoE. Uh, the way to do that fight correctly, thinking about it, is I think you just have to attack the same target over and over again. So like, um, just attack the one on the left, for instance, and just burst it down. Or maybe attack Mada and just make sure that it dies. I don't know. I think that's the way you're meant to do that fight. Uh, yeah, we'll load it up. Right. And then I'm going to end the episode there. Thank you for watching. It does seem like the last level of the Labyrinth of Amala is pretty tough. And it's giving us fights that were more tough than we were getting in the final dungeon. I think. So this should be, uh... A fun time to see what happens. So, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.